Welcome to PKPM Tutorials. I'm going to break down this powerful tool to help international students studying in China overcome language barriers and excel in their studies. After opening the PKPM software, you'll be greeted by its interface, ready for you to start working on your projects. This is structure. We're going to use this to build our model. In this video, this is masonry structure and another is steel structure. So we only need to focus on structure. And here this section is to build the structure model, which we will select this one to build the structure in this video. We gonna ignore others. This is Satwi analysis and design. It was selected by default. So don't need to do anything on this. This is create or open file. So we gonna create the folder first. I am creating the folder on the desktop with the file name graduation project. You can name anything. This folder is for working directory for whole project. All files will be in this folder. New file and select the working directory folder we had recently created on the desktop. After this the file is appear here. Double click on this file to create the model. Now this is pop up. This is to give the name of the project. So I will name it graduation then press enter or click on confirm. After this, the main interface of the PKPM is appeared. First one is to build an axis network or model. We use this to specify the axis first. This is to build different members such as beam, column, wall, and auths. This one is to create a slab. This one is to specify the load. We use this axis network to build the model. Here are different ways to build the model. We use this orthogonal grid, which is easiest one. This will create vertical axis network, so input 6000 comma for four times without space. Or also can input 6000 multiply four. This is for horizontal axis. We input 5100 comma 2700 comma 5100 comma without space and click on confirm. You can see that it is moving. You can place wherever you want to place it. I will place it here by clicking the left button of the mouse. Now we create an axis network. That's it for today. Let's continue in next video.